What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a quick look at this Dumbo RC transmitter. I'm just going to tell you now, this thing for the price is going to be hard to beat. Uh, I get a lot of people that ask me when they're going brushless in one of these rigs or they just want to get rid of the stock transmitter, what they should go with. And I normally recommend the Flysky GT5 because I, I love that thing. It's got a great feel. It's got a great price. You can get the micro receivers for it. Lots of positives about that thing, but this Coming in at $39.99 for this setup right here, pretty hard to beat. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this thing. I don't even know a lot about it. I haven't even really used it. I took it out, hooked it up, tried it just to see how I liked it. And I love the feel of this thing. So I'm looking forward to putting this in quite a few rigs. You can pick this up as a combo with basically any of these receivers, I think. Uh, I know you can get just the regular receivers. I got one of the all-in-one with the ESC receiver combo those are not good for crawling i mean maybe if you geared your rig right and did some work you can make it work but just tossing it in one of these it was not good for crawling so i'll use that for something else but i did pick up one of these sort of micro receivers for it and this was 13 bucks off of amazon you can probably get it cheaper on banggood aliexpress bing bong ching chong whatever i don't know but um 13 bucks from eBay. It did ship from China, so it took forever to get here. I've had this for like two weeks and been wanting to do a video on it, but I wanted to get this first, and that's why I really haven't used this much because I've been waiting on this. Um, so I would say that price is marked up on eBay. You can find these cheaper somewhere. I'll try to link them in the description, but looking forward to installing that into one of these rigs. But first, let's take a look at this thing. So we do get a manual with this, which is going to be handy because there's a lot of settings on this thing i mean i was looking through here just kind of glancing through it and it even does like some sort of mixing apparently it's got mixed control and i there's probably much better info out there on this thing but i just kind of wanted to show you guys a quick look at it this is the receiver esc combo that i got this does support two to three s so if you were just looking to throw this in like a basher like i'm thinking my little razor uh the axial i forget what the thing's even called now uh, but i could throw this in there possibly i don't know anyways i'm going to be using this for the micros to crawl with but right off this thing has an awesome look to it and a great feel like this carbon fiber i was afraid it would look super cheesy it actually looks and feels really good it gives just a little bit of grip here and looks good <laughs> overall this thing looks I mean, I could see paying 80, 90 bucks for this, honestly. And at 40 bucks, you're getting this in one receiver. And I would probably just recommend getting a normal receiver like this. You could always use it in a 10 scale crawler or whatever. So, I mean, that's, that's crazy. And 13 bucks for these, like I, I'm gonna start using this in quite a few rigs more than likely. Um, but everything has a really nice layout. We've got, dip switches in here these are just basically reversing for the channel one two three and four so channel one's your steering one to turn two to burn that's how i always remember that people ask me and that's it so channel one is your steering so if you needed to reverse your servo you just flip that switch channel two throttle if you need to reverse it obviously flip flip the switch uh, but you got a nice power button there Every, the buttons light up. I really like that because even these, when you're using them, they light up. So you know if that's on or off. You know, if you hooked some lights to this or whatever. Uh, very cool that those light up as well. I mean, that's just, it's not just a cheap button. You know, it's actually a button, nice button with a light in it. It's crazy. You've got steering uh, trim. you got steering dual rate, basically. Zero, 25, 50, 75, 100%. And then your throttle, same over here, throttle trim, throttle uh, adjustments. And then you've got channel five, which I think works the gyro. So this does have a gyro inside of it. You can turn on or off. So if you're running like a little small drift car, basically you get the gyro included and this will allow you to adjust how much you're using that. Or if you just turn it off, I'm thinking we can use this for some rear steer. I like to put my rear steer on a knob a lot of the time it, pretty much every transmitter i use i do that so i can easily one hand drive with this and work the rear with this 
I imagine we could probably even like change this knob out, 3D print something, get it up here, make it a little easier, whatever. But um, very nice look and feel to this thing. Uh, I mean, I'm very impressed with it and really excited to go use it. So let's get this installed into like this rig here. Just to kind of show you if you go brushless, how this thing's going to work. I mean, and for, I just can't believe the price of this thing. It feels really, really good. So very excited about this and uh, looking forward to installing it and running it. All right, so I got this thing all hooked up just so you guys can see it real quick. This is the micro receiver I've been using for the GT5. This is a little larger than that but it is a six channel with the gyro included. So if you're gonna be running this in any kind of drift cars or anything like that, you'll have that gyro and you can see it's really not that much larger. There is a bind button right here on the end of this thing that you will press when this first comes on, it's just flashing. Uh, you press that, hold it down for a couple seconds or something. It tells you in the manual how to bind it all, but it was very simple. I already had the transmitter on plug this in it was flashing i held that down boom it was together and you can see working well with my rear steer on this dial up here so that's pretty sweet i mean this is a straight out of the box transmitter that anybody who's looking to do this with their rear steer you can do it very easily one thing to note this is kind of like my radio link if you get very close to the receiver it glitches out a little of course, you're not gonna be driving like this on top of your truck, but if you're back just a little bit, I'd say eight inches to a foot, you're good, no issues. That's awesome. The other cool thing about this, check this out. You can basically bypass this. This has the receiver and ESC built into it. We can just bypass the ESC in it and use it for a receiver. And the other really cool thing about this is, if you notice, I've bound this to this receiver before and it remembers it, everything's good to go. So technically, I feel like this could just be set up to an infinite amount of receivers. I don't know. It doesn't say in the book like how many this can run. It's not like you go on there and select a model, it just, remembers the code or whatever i guess to the receiver i don't know somebody who knows more about this will comment i'm sure but um pretty sweet in my opinion that you can do that and that we can bypass this receiver or the esc in this so if you do get this version you can use the the esc if you want in something else or you can bypass it in a crawler so very cool right back hooked up to the micro receiver unbelievable for the price 40 bucks for this transmitter with a receiver and then you can get these for around 13 dollars a pop um, the fill of this thing is perfect it's got the, the buttons that light up i mean there's so much going on here channel three channel four up here very nice transmitter for the price guys i highly recommend this thing it's got your lanyard hook up here which is nice as well you can hook it up throw it around your neck these fit very well in a bag. This is not a breakaway style or anything, but still it's very small compared to like the GT5. So there you can see the size difference and every little bit counts when you're packing these things around in a bag all day, something like Beat the Creek or whatever. So um, definitely recommend checking this out. I'm going to install this in a larger crawler, bypass the ESC and just use the receiver. That way I can use this transmitter with it because I really like the feel of these one-handed transmitters is what I call them because I can one-hand drive with them so well. But um, definitely worth checking out for sure. Maybe I'll put one in this. Very excited to get this thing going. I'm doing some mods to it now. So um, having a little fun with that thing. But overall, man, <laughs> this is hard to pass up at 40 bucks unbelievable i'll link it in the description you guys let me know what you think if you have any experience with it and i appreciate everybody watching peace